Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Porter, your school librarian, here today to teach you how to use EasyBib Citation Maker in Google Docs to create a works cited page for a research paper or any project that requires one. Before starting this tutorial, please make sure you have accessed your Gmail account using your school Gmail address and password. In addition, please register for an EasyBib account at www dot easybib dot com. You can do this by selecting the link register in the upper right hand corner of this website. I have already registered so all I have to do is log in. Logging in will bring you to the My Projects page. This will help you keep track of the citations that you are working on for your individual assignments. Since I am just starting this assignment, I will do so by selecting Create a New Project. Now, I will give my project a name by typing it in the given box. Then, I will select Create Project. Next, select Bibliography. And now, we are ready to begin building our source list. We will be using MLA formatting for this project. First, let's take a look at what we have for choices for creating citations. Website, book, newspaper, journal, database, and all 59 options. As you look at the drop-down list, there are many options to choose from. Pamphlet, interview, and photograph are just a few of the plethora of choices available. Later on, we will take a more in-depth look at some of these choices. For now, we are going to start by creating a citation for a website by selecting the designated tab. You can see here that you have a couple of choices. You can either enter the web address or search by keyword. In most cases, you will just copy the website address and paste it into the box. Then select Cite This. Before creating the citation, EasyBib asks you to confirm and modify the information below. You may find that sometimes the results may be incorrect or it has left out content that is clearly available. It is your responsibility to make sure the information is correct. Once you are satisfied, simply select Create Citation. And there you have it. All correctly formatted in MLA format. If you find that you have made a mistake, just simply select Edit, make your changes, and then select the icon Update Citation. Remember to check to make sure it made your corrections before moving on. The next citation that I am going to show you is how to create a citation for a book. Select the book icon. You will find that you will follow the same process as for a website, but instead of using the web address, you will be using the ISBN number that is located either on the back of the book or on the back side of the title page. Place this number in the same box as you did for the website address. The book I have chosen to create a citation for is titled The Lance and the Shield, The Life and Times of Sitting Bull by Robert M. Utley. The ISBN number for this book is 080-5012-745. Once you have entered your ISBN number, then select the icon Cite This. Now you will go through the same process as before with the website. Sometimes this may produce several results for you to choose from. You must be careful to select the right source. If the results are different, compare the results with your book by checking the information with the information provided on the back side of the title page. Once you have done this, select your source. Again, it says to please confirm or modify the information below. My book is a print source, but if it was not, I would select the other tabs and fill in the information accordingly. After comparing information, I did discover that this book is a first edition, and I'm going to fill that in now. Since I am not citing the whole book, I will change that now as well by selecting the drop-down box. This will bring me to a new page which will require me to put in the name of the chapter, which is Bear Coat, and the page numbers 165, 
to 173. Now that I am satisfied with the information, I will select the icon Create Citation. EasyBib has created the book citation, and notice that it has also added the citation to the bibliography below in preparation for creating your Works Cited page later on. Let's take a look at the All 59 Options tab. Creating a citation is as simple as selecting one of the many resources available like Interview, and manually filling in the blanks. Then, finishing by selecting Create Citation. This will add this citation to your growing bibliography. The last feature that I am going to show you for this tutorial is the Write Paste Citation. Sometimes when using other resources such as databases, the correctly formatted citation is already created for you. Here is an example from the database SIRS Issue Researcher. Notice at the bottom of the article, the citation is already created for you in MLA format. Now, copy the citation. Then, go back to EasyBib, select the right paste link located on the left side of your screen under Other. Then, paste the citation into the box and select the icon Create Citation. There it is, and notice again that it has also been placed within your bibliography in alphabetical order. Now that I have collected all my resources and created citations for them, I am ready to create my Works Cited page. I am going to do this by simply selecting the Save as Google Doc icon. Your Google Docs account will ask you if you want to grant access to EasyBib. Select Grant Access. Next, it will give you two choices. Select Go to Google Docs because we have finished with EasyBib. And there you have it, a correctly formatted MLA Works Cited page ready to print using Google Docs and EasyBib Citation Maker. Thank you for listening.